Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. In today's video I'm going to be doing a vlog. So I'm going to be talking about the world and how it kind of affects the coin market or how I'm seeing it play out myself as a professional dealer. So I want to talk about inflation. I've spoken about inflation in the past. Sometimes it's been kind of commentary on how the market is. Sometimes it's been looking at cases of inflation such as Zimbabwe. I did a, a video called Zimbabwe dollar meltdown that was a real eye-opener I don't think we're in the stage of hyperinflation I don't think we're anywhere near it and I personally I don't think it's going to happen to any currency that borrows in its own currency I think that's more of an issue of countries that borrow in say dollar backed euro backed pound backed currencies so I'm not entirely worried about that I don't lose sleep over that and if I did lose sleep I've got gold <laughs> so <laughs> that's what it's there for is to protect me against these kind of environments now anyone who's watching this video would have felt the pinch fuel's gone up you know car fuel um energy prices have gone up food prices have gone up everything's going up but I, to me this is just a natural thing i i think this is i'd say pretty much 100 percent down to uh quantitative easing it was always gonna go up there's there's more money in the system i've always said i've said it for a very long time that assets go up and down in an upward motion over time the reason they go up and down is due to inflation so what you'll find is the top the, the wealthy they do well because they have assets the middle they get squeezed and the bottom tend to get crushed it just gets harder and harder now i know a few people in my personal life who are really struggling at the moment when everything goes up, they really feel the squeeze and my heart goes out to them because I know it's going to be rough for them. I know there's nothing I can do for them either. That just is what it is, apart from physically giving them cash. But then that puts my operation at jeopardy. I'm not exactly in a position to do it. I wish I could. You know, if I was a seven-figure guy, I'd do it. It's not a problem. Just call it a redistribution of wealth. <laughs> it's what taxes are, you know. But in terms of what i'm seeing on the market less people are um, more people have less money to spend i can see this in the one ounce market i i showed you some one ounce coins recently and they are hard to move they're a hard sell at the moment there's very few buyers for one ounce coins and bars so my supplier sent me a message the other day he said yeah i've got some some i think it was it was a couple of bars and a maple as well he said do you want to pay spot on them i was like i can't sell them i was like i'm not trying to hamstring you but i can only trade the market in front of me and if the buyers aren't there because more people are being squeezed for their funds it's not a lot i can do so you're going to have to come down in price or you're going to have to pay less your end to keep your margin that's just is what it is you can have a sale but the sale is going to be at either a lesser margin or you're going to have to go back your end there's not a lot i can do about that so even even when the market kind of trades sideways, it's not a position I want to be in where I'm paying, say, spot, and it it drops. You know, if I'm paying spot, I have to, and it's selling for spot. You know, it's I have to wait for the price to increase. There's no guarantee of that. I don't have the cash flow to hold one ounce bars over consist like over a longer period of time. I can I can carry a couple. But it tends to be the big coins that are coming to the market at the moment. I'll buy small gold all day at spot because I know I can move it. But the bigger stuff, not so much. Now, in terms of the groups, in, in terms of how I trade on social media, it's very, it's a weird market. There are buyers, there are pockets of buyers, but in terms of, how many buyers there are compared to say last summer or last may it's nowhere near everything is going to trade you know the real special things that even go into trade that never used to be the case you used to put up a special coin you know for a fair price not a problem i put up a pf70 proof 2022 sovereign even that went to to bargain and usually i'll just be like no nah, not a chance but, you know, I come down a bit on it because I'm thinking there's no other offers on the table. It's a lot slower. 
Now, in terms of the flip side, you know, I think there's going to be a lot of sellers. I recently had a phone. I spoke, I spoke with a gentleman on the phone and he said to me, he's like, I've just lost my job. I'm going to have to sell my collection. And I said to him, I was like, I don't think I can pay you what you paid for it, unfortunately. The, the middle of the market is, is going to, in my view anyway, it's, it's going to get absolutely decimated. Um, I think you're going to see a lot of high quality coins such as your Perth Mints, um, your, your Lunas, your stuff like that, your, your Kookaburras. I, I think they're going to come down in price. They've had a, a good run. Um, some of them are 30, 40 pound coins. But I think what's going to happen is the, the top of the market's going to do well. The top of the market tends to do well anyway. If you've got really, really special pieces like the numismatic pieces, it tends to do well anyway. You, you can't really find these coins easily. And when they do come up, there's going to be plenty of interest. The bottom of the market, such as your bullion, I think that's what's going to be sold first. But what happens when you run out of the bottom of the market bullion coins? You're going to... If you're still struggling and you can't cover your bills or your mortgage payments, you're going to have to sell your semi numi coins, your your kooks, etc. And you're not going to get what you paid for them. You need to be holding these coins. There's going to be a lot of opportunities for someone like myself. Now, I'm not, I don't take the biscuit, you know. I look at the market, I see what, or I try and gouge what I can sell it for, and then I just work backwards. So I make my cut that way. But if you had to say a Luna 2 Tiger and last year it was going for £40, I wouldn't be shocked if some of them hit the market at £27 to £32. If I see those coins, I will use whatever reserve I have and I'll just buy them up because I know they'll come good. I know they will. This is part of the economic cycle. This is just capitalism. It's not a good part of capitalism. I don't necessarily agree with it. But what's the alternative? That's an argument from another day. I I could talk for hours about this topic. It's it's not for today. But if you're on the side where you're struggling, maybe it's best to kind of put up the more niche bits now because if if in six months you're struggling more, there's going to be more people struggling if it carries on the way it is. There's only so many reserve, so much in reserves that people have in terms of finances and in terms of your baseline bullion that you can move before your more special pieces have to go. So I would get ahead. I would, I would sell them now if you think it's going to be an issue in six months. That's if you believe that inflation is going to carry on and you can't increase your your money if you if you can't increase the money you got coming in, which sadly the majority of people can't do. It's it's just not possible. Um, like I, I noticed when people were trying to earn a side income, the more people that try something, the less people make. If everyone can do something, the lower the margins get, and then people kind of leave the market. So yeah, that's that's kind of my talk of inflation. I'm not going to tackle like inflation as a whole. You know, I think it's. It's better if I talk about it in a way that kind of affects people who buy and sell coins. You know, that's what this channel is about. I do want to move more into a business side of things, but I still want it to be relevant to to coins, you know, because that's my bread and butter. If you are struggling, I'd, I'd see what you can do now. There is an argument that prices will go up, but even so, if prices are going up and there's no buyers, you're going to be in my situation where you're, you're selling your bigger coins for the spot there there is a, a premium on the smaller bits but it's not what it was last year when there was loads and loads of buyers it is a buyer's market if we go into a recession it's going to continue to be a buyer's market and that's just the way it is I, I i fully expect more and more people to come to me and if they do want to entrust me with their coins i'll, I'll try my best to look after them but i can only trade what's in front of me so i hope you've kind of taken something out of this video um, I hope you're doing okay in your own personal situation. I'd, I'd hate for people to be taken to the cleaners this time around. I do think we're in recession. I do think it's gonna there's gonna be blood on the streets. I think um, it's not gonna be pretty for most people. But I wish you all the best, and I'll see you on the next one.